On today's episode of This Old Table, or should I say, episode of This Lazy Kitty, not kitty, yeah, just loves being by daddy with antennas. Um, this is almost done. It is not completed. Okay, I do have all the elements cut. I do have all the saddles, we'll call them, epoxied on. They gotta sit overnight, 24 hours, I want them. But I cut all the, uh, all the elements and put the rubber caps on, okay? Um, and you can't pay attention to the end caps and, and, and look at it. I mean, you can kind of see that it gets narrower toward the end. However, uh, you can't tell the difference in a 32nd of an inch under that with a cap on. So let me tell you, the worst part about this antenna with such a little tiny tolerance of, you know, different elements and the element spacing, the hardest part was trimming all of those rods. Um, this again, this is for 23 centimeters. This is uh, 1.296 gigahertz is what the formula is going to be center frequency. Um, and so what I was basically to cut all of those, I was like an angry five-year-old in kindergarten class with a crayon in my hand, which would be those elements just going, going on this file to make sure that I had exactly like one would say three and seven sixteenth plus a thirty second of an inch <laughs> on the on that one. And then it would go to three and and fifteen sec fifteen sixteenth plus a thirty second. I was filing, 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 and getting that thing just right with my little tape measure to try to get as accurate as possible. But um, I'm gonna let these saddles sit 24 hours with the epoxy. This will be a quick video. And uh, that's what it's going to look like all the way down here. Spacing, let me show you the spacing here. I mean, I did this a couple days ago. You can see I have it written, I had a line on, on the side there of the boom, right where the center of that element should be, all the way down. Um, the driven element is going to be here. You can see, I, I gotta uh, modify this one too. So the driven element is, I can see, it's gonna be right there. That's the center of that one. So driven, reflector driven, director one. And you know what's funny? I went over this three times. Where the hell is director one? don't know but you know what really aggravates me is i am <laughs> one plastic cap short even if i use another rod here uh i don't i mean i had one in my hand number one like five times don't know where it went can't find it never even got the caps on it so i am missing one cap so that's gonna drive me nuts uh maybe i could 3d print a cap or something i don't know because if i got you know all these nice sequential caps on there and then I got one here. It's got electrical tape bundled on the end. That's going to aggravate me. But there it is. That's just a, the next thing I need to figure out. I'm going to do, you know, try to get the feed point as neat as possible, as effective as possible, some sort of match if I need it, and find the center of this by weight. And I'm going to have to attach something. I'm not going to have like that on there. Um, I might do something that's going to basically come off, go over, come back up. You know, and then have the piece coming down so that I can uh, put it on on this tripod like this. Maybe maybe I'll do that as plastic. Maybe I'll 3D print something. Just a tube square that comes down, over, up, and it's got one that comes down. I don't know your thoughts, but there you go, guys. The uh, what's going to be the very first homemade 23 centimeter Yagi I've ever done. And uh, when I get those elements filed, whoop, when I get that filed down in there, I get those elements sitting on there just right. I got a bunch of round files. I'll have to find one and make sure I have the center of this because um, I pushed the caps on as tight as I could. So I want to try to make sure I have these centered like that before I glue them on there. So there you go. 7-3. KJ4YZI.